What's up everybody and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Tomorrow. Today I'm incredibly excited to bring you yet another video as today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, assembly, demonstration, and of course review on the Nista Cobra Reflex Bag by Valley Sports. And I'm really excited to do this because if you've been around the channel over the last couple months, you'll know that I actually reviewed something by Valley Sports already. It was their Lancer boxing gloves and I was incredibly impressed with them because of how well quality they were made, uh, how high level they were for a very competitive price for about 70 bucks. And there are some gloves that are going upwards of 150 bucks that did not even come close to the Lancer gloves because Valley Sports believes that you deserve really good equipment for an inexpensive price. They're not a cheap product at all. And they also have something for everybody, which is awesome. I can tell you since that review, some of my teammates have walked in with uh, with their Nista MMA gloves or their hybrid gloves, the boxing gloves, and some guys come in with the Lancer gloves. Uh, a lot of guys wear their rash guards and their shorts. I have a couple of uh, girls that I train with that said that, they, that they're the only rash guard that really fits their body as a female that's a lot better which is awesome uh, and they have i mean everything from mitts pads uh, shin guards mma gloves boxing gloves muay thai gloves uh, they even have like shears and, and end swells for cornermen for boxing they have uh coaching vests belly shields name it headgear groin guards they have everything for anybody which is awesome and i love that about valley sports because it's a website where you can go and a brand where you can go and find something for everybody and whatever you need that will fit your needs and it's a very very well priced uh brand as well and i love that about valley sports uh, i also want to thank them for sending me this bag um, and as always, I have to give you the disclaimer, this was sent to me and it was very generous of them to do so. Um, but this is a 100% honest review because I wanted to tell you if it's a good piece of equipment or not. That way you know where your money is going at the end of the day. I, I hate for someone to get burned on this, but if it's from Valley Sports, they have my stamp of approval. I've seen multiple of my athletes with uh, equipment by them and I am incredibly excited to do this review because I respect Valley Sports because of that. Now I already opened the top of the box and I realized, you know what, I should do an unboxing for the video, um, you know, and then kind of show you how to assemble it as well. Uh, just and make that kind of speedy because I know I tend to be a little long-winded. But I went, I went ahead and, and cut this open. And when I say cut, I mean I kind of manhandled it open. Uh, but from opening the bag, the first thing I see is this gigantic base right here. Okay, so this is the base where I'm going to go ahead and assume this is where you fill up the water. Um, and we'll go ahead and find the hole for the water somewhere else. Uh, but it looks like there's some nuts that are holding this plate in place. So I just have to assume underneath is where you'd fill the water in. So it's a regular base, it's kind of like, yep, okay, so there's a water plug right there, as it looks. And honestly, for this one, I'm probably gonna put water in it instead of sand. Usually I prefer sand, but I like water in this case because it seems like more of the weight's gonna go towards the top of the bag compared to the bottom. Uh, unlike that one uh, like freestanding heavy bag that I reviewed uh, a little while ago. So, so I'll show you what it's like to assemble that, put the water in it and everything and it looks like it's really easy to put together. And then here we have the base that screws, I'm assuming to the top part or to the rather to the bottom part. And it's like threaded, there's like rope all the way around the base. So that, I imagine maybe that's maybe to prevent the elements from getting to it and rusting out the pipe. Though it feels like it's a galvanized pipe, so that's nice. Uh, so that goes on top of the base there. And then I see two boxes actually on the inside here. So this is a heavy box. So I'd have to imagine this is the screws. And let's see, I'm pretty sure I have my knife somewhere because it is taped shut. I just want to be careful and open, not too much in case I find the bladder or anything. I don't want to cut into the bladder of the bag at all. So there's some more poles here inside of some foam. And actually, cool thing about the, okay, so here's the coil and the spring. So this is what's gonna cause the bag uh, towards the base and everything to recoil back to a certain way. And so it doesn't snap. And so it just comes right back to you in a nice way. And it's a really strong coil. Like this thing is heavy. This is not a light coil at all. Um, I've never used one of these because I always wondered what the big hype was uh, compared to just using a heavy bag or, or rather a double end bag because I'm a big double end bag fan. So we got that there. There's no more screws in here, but there's another pipe. Okay, and, and from what I can see, it would look like this screws in to here, like such. 
okay so it looks like we screw it in like that okay now obviously we'll do more of the assembly after but i'm just showing you what comes in the box and then i'll do like a sped up assembly type thing like i did with the freestanding bag and then we also have another box here okay now this i would assume has the bladder and it does first thing i opened it up to i could see the bladder but okay so it comes with suction cups just like that freestanding bag too and uh it comes with suction cups all the tools that you need are on the inside there screws and it actually has an air pump which is exciting because i thought most of these were made out of uh foam and stuff so you can see here here's the bag and you actually screw that in towards the bottom oh it comes with a couple bags it comes with three total bags guys wow so that's really awesome of valley sports to do because maybe maybe you know maybe especially if you're doing it for fun and maybe you have a cat in your house or something that pokes a hole in this which i doubt because it feels like a nice strong you can definitely tell it's a synthetic leather but it feels like a nice strong synthetic leather but it comes with a pump for this and it comes for everything to assemble it so now what i'm going to do is actually fill up the base with some water uh and then i'm going to go ahead and do the assembly and we're going to see exactly how to put this thing together i'm terrible at putting stuff together so pardon me if it's a caveman assembly guys but i'm going to do my best here all right so i'm back at you i'm going to do a sped up assembly because it's really really easy it's it's really a caveman could do it and i am a caveman so that's proof uh of how to assemble this bag i'm really excited to do that uh because it's something simple i get excited but basically all i did is i filled this with about three quarters of the way of water because i figured the top part's going to be a lot lighter than the base itself and i don't think the base is going to get knocked around a, a lot especially when you put the suction cups which are actually really really stuck to the ground especially because this is a ceramic tile in the basement i'm in um you know you definitely have that to work with with that and it's as simple as just screwing these into the base took me like a minute to get all 12 i think they're 12 of the suction cups inside of the bag and then you just have to fill it up with water and then you just plug it back up so now let's go ahead and do the assembly which like i said if i can pull off anyone can pull off all right so let's go ahead and get started with this assembly i should be done with this i honestly think even in my caveman self will be done with the assembly and using this bag within five to ten minutes so let's go ahead with our base plate and get started Okay, so obviously this isn't the permanent spot for the bag, but this is the finished product that you have here. And the assembly took me realistically five minutes. It was not hard at all. The only thing I had to go back and do was maybe tighten the screws a little bit tighter because I thought I had them in there pretty good with my hands, but I guess I'm not that strong. But basically the cool thing is here, there's a little knob on the side that says tighten or loosen, and then you can change the height by simply pulling this out. You can go short, you can go really, really, well, almost tall to a point to where the whole thing just comes right out. So that's cool. Um, but basically, you have a couple different heights. So I'm six foot even when I stand up entirely straight. So this right now to me is about six one. I'd say it's a little bit taller than me. Uh, and you can also bring it up at least one more right there. So that's about six two right there. So it's cool. So you've got a couple different heights to choose from and adjust, which is nice. Uh, this part of the bar here is actually decently padded. And then under here, there's another spot that actually uh, covers the bottom part of the bag. And it's a really small bag. Now I've hit this thing once or twice. And I was honestly shocked to see just how difficult it was compared to a double end bag. And I see why people like it. Um, so I imagine the tighter you get it, the less it recoils and the looser you get it, the more it recoils. So like I said, I'm going to use this for about a week or so before I actually go. I'm probably going to put it outside just to show you and have like a nice big open area. But basically, that's what you get. And just see how fast it comes back at you. So it's pop, pop, and I got to hit it really quick. So pop, pop, and I have to hit it. And it starts to recoil all over the place. So now it's like a hook. We'll shoot over and then maybe I can jab it and jab it. There's an uppercut and it just hit me back too. So that's a really nice thing about this bag that I'm liking so far. The only thing I noticed is that punching it, I have to like re-tighten the bag here. 
which is okay. I mean, I just assume like you don't really need to get it that tight. But now I'm just curious, if, like if I really loosen this thing, the amount of slack that that coil has now, just by me doing that, that's crazy. So if I, wow, okay. It's almost actually easier to do it when it's, when it's looser. So that's really interesting. So that's a really cool concept of a Culver reflex bag. It just kind of reminds me of starting out with a double end bag for the first time. So obviously I'm in my basement and I can do it really anywhere in my basement, especially, I mean, with the ceramic tile here, it's not really gonna come off uh, because of the, the suction cups. And I'm, I mean, I'm laying into this thing. If I really did it, I didn't fill the base with that much water. So you really don't need to fill it with a lot of water. So the base is really easy to lift up and carry. And if you need to take the bag off at any point, you don't need to screw this cap in. You can literally just unscrew these tiny little caps here, and then that will just pop the whole part of the bag. Then you can move the base wherever, and then just screw the bag back in, which is awesome. So it's really convenient, it's really easy, and I'm getting a decent sweat working up here just by hitting the bag. Oh, and I missed. See, that's the cool thing about these bags. I'm smiling because it's a new challenge. Uh, so I'm really excited to do this. Uh, and really give this a shot. I want to use this for about a week and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, really show you not just a demonstration or a couple sessions that I'm using it with, but I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this. And uh, once again, this comes with three extra bags too. So if you find the first one doesn't work for you, which this feels fine, I like that it's filled with air because it feels like I'm hitting a double end bag. It doesn't feel like I'm hitting, um, you know, a solid piece of foam. I heard some people use foam in their products, which I don't understand. It's too heavy. Uh, this is perfect. So without that i mean without uh, anything else to say about it uh let's go ahead and give it a good week and i'll be back all right so my final thoughts on the valley sports nista cobra bag is this has been such a fun tool to use over the last week and like i told you i had my uh my doubts about cobra reflex bags in general not this one in particular in general uh, because I had been using a double end bag in the boxing gym since I was 12 years old and I, I would sit there thinking why reinvent the wheel when we already have something called a double end bag that does the same thing as this which is true this bag definitely does some of the same things if not a lot of the same things but it's definitely its own workout and I definitely have a new respect for it and it's something that I'd categorize like my boxing coach would call it a toy in the gym and what that is is it's, it's something that you're having so much fun with that you don't even realize that you're getting a workout i just did about 10 rounds on this thing 10 three minute rounds uh just for a sunday workout and definitely i'm feeling it in my shoulders my legs my core from turning and everything and it's a nice developmental functioning training tool and valley sports did a really good job of making one that works really well although i've never used any other ones but i mean i hear other ones and from uh from reading things that other ones use like foam in the head and everything like that which would definitely make this way too heavy whereas this is you know just an air filled it's basically a double end ball uh, on the top of a bag and it responds really well it reacts really well it doesn't hurt my hands or anything it's not too hard it's not too soft it's the perfect tool uh, for like reflex building which is awesome and it's also good for rhythm building speed timing uh, I wouldn't say too much power although you can drill power with it um, but it's definitely uh, another tool that you can look into uh, so a couple things I loved about this bag for one is uh, once again the head of it it feels like a really nice durable uh, double end ball with synthetic leather on the top of it okay so it's not an actual leather it's a nice synthetic leather although it feels kind of like a real leather and it even has like kind of like those makeshift grain marks it doesn't smell like actual leather though it smells like uh, chemicals it's kind of like if you ever see those century speed bags it kind of looks and feels like that to a certain extent but definitely a little bit more um, I'd say a lot more durable and it's not as like shiny or like flimsy as that would be. It's definitely a nice durable bag. It has a nice spring and bounce to it. The bladder on the inside feels like it's a nice durable bladder, which is good. Uh, and on top of it, Valley Sports sends you two extra heads just in case something happens to this one. But nothing's happened to this one yet. Uh, it's really easy to inflate. They, bring, they send you your own um, pump that comes with it. It's a nice little hand pump. And that's really nice about it. Uh, going down the bag, the one thing that I guess I wouldn't recommend anyone to do would be hit it bare fisted. Uh, and that's because this little tiny rotator 
not rotator, this little tiny round thing that goes around the bottom of it that kind of sucks this in is definitely, it's actually a lot harder than I thought. And when I punched it initially, it actually did bother my hand a little bit uh, without gloves on. So if you are gonna hit this, either be very accurate and only hit the head of the bag, uh, or or just put gloves on. Like like today I got the Valley Hybrid gloves on. Um, and and i've been using these to hit this bag with but uh that's definitely one thing that i would say is uh use it with gloves because even with gloves on i can't feel that hard plastic part whatsoever so that's really nice about it um down here it's like a decently soft rod here so it's not going to scuff up your gloves at all which is nice it's not like foam but it's like a nice smooth texture rod and i actually like it because when i hit the bag i'll hit that as like a body shot so i got the head i got the body especially at heavyweight and a lot of the guys are taller than me i like to make this bag just a little bit taller than me i have it eye level so you can kind of see it on camera um but i like doing that so i can pretend i'm hitting the body uh right here and then i can go back up to the head which is nice so it's definitely nice that it's not too hard where it's not going to hurt my hand obviously you're not going to want to hit the spring because that's where a good you know hundred percent of the action of this bag comes from is the spring uh the spring is very much cocked and ready to go and it is a very strong resistance just to give you an idea you heard how loud that thud was and just watch how much this thing comes back and forth ready to go with you you know that's definitely one thing that i like about this is that it's going to come back at you with force so it's a very realistic tool um, the other nice part about it, if you can see this little knob here that I'm grabbing, is that you can actually, once again, you can make it taller or shorter. And the other thing about it is, uh, unlike a double end bag where you have to take the bungee cables and you have to set it up a certain way, tie the cable, however which way you want it uh, to keep it more taut, to keep it more loose, whatever it might be. This is really, really simple. All you got to do is take the knob and it even says uh, to adjust, loosen uh then pull it says so loosen you want to go this way and you'll notice that the spring starts to have a lot more slack to it and honestly i thought it being tighter would make it more difficult making it looser like a double end bag makes this thing move around way more in like a bunch of different directions and it makes it a lot uh not challenging but it does make it a lot more uh, realistic like your opponents moving their head around and everything else like that so when I have this loose it's definitely uh, a lot more of a fun workout for me when it's tight it kind of stays in one place so if you hit it straight it's gonna come back straight whereas if I hit it here you notice how it moved off to the side instead and that's not because I'm punching it off to the side I'm punching it dead on like that and it's gonna move a bunch of different ways you know and so that's the nice thing about this bag is that it's going to move and it's going to be unpredictable which is definitely what i would put a lot of my athletes on so they can build their timing and their reflexes the other thing that i love about this bag is that it's really imploring you to keep it simple and keep it basic uh i wouldn't say you can change so many combinations on it so i think a lot of people are going to think more single shots with this uh i'm able to do you know simple combinations like you know jab one two three or you know stuff like or that was you know, in some number systems, five, uh, but you know, that was a jab, right hand, uppercut, you know, but you can also do, boom, 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 see, and then it implores you to miss. Um, and that's the other thing is that I, I really love that you're not gonna hit this all the time. And, and for me, my boxing coach used to say, you're not gonna hit the mitts 100% of the time. So we'd be doing mitts and you do one, two, miss, three, you know, stuff like that. And that was a whole idea behind this bag too. But you know, now I learn to get it and get my rhythm down, which is something I really, really love about this bag. Uh, so overall, it's a great functioning tool. I love using this bag as far as that goes. And I can hit this thing for, for hours and really not get sick of it. It's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of fun. And I really love that about it. Uh, the only downside, I guess, I could find from this bag was when you hit this, you can notice like this ball is spinning a bit. So like the part that you screw onto it, like starts to come off a little bit and that can be like a little annoying uh sometimes you have to stop in the middle of your workout and you have to just you know rotate it back on i guess what you could do is take some athletic tape and just really secure that thing right there and it won't move but i mean it hasn't flung off yet nor do i think it will fly off uh it's just at the end of each round what i do because I, I stop stopping in the middle of my workouts and i just 
literally stop at the end of each round whoop, and then turn it back on it takes two seconds and it's not going to break anytime soon and from what i understand a ton of other reflex bags do the same exact thing uh, so i mean that's not even a big complaint uh, I also love that it's very easy to transfer and move around because all you have to do is just unscrew a couple of the, the bolts at the bottom. You just take this top part off and then just lift the base and this part around separately. So it's nice. Um, the best part about this bag too is that you don't need to find a specific place to put it. As you can see, I'm outside doing this. Uh, I'm in my backyard and then I put it in my basement. I could bring it to my gym. I could bring it anywhere. You know, if you have a good maybe 10 feet of space or even less, you can stand right in front of this thing and get a nice, decent workout. It doesn't have to be all over the place. I like putting it in a big open spot so I can actually, you know, dart in and out, side to side, everything like that. And that's the nice thing about this. Um, I love drilling combinations on this, you know, basic, you know, like maybe upwards of five punch combinations at most. And I love moving around it because it's gonna hit me back. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's actually a decent so shot when it comes back and hits you. So that's definitely something you wanna look into with this bag. And uh, compared to a lot of other bags out there, that I see going for upwards of like five to six hundred dollars or above three hundred dollars most of the time I think the ringside ones like three hundred bucks title boxing ones like three three fifty this one's two hundred and thirty five dollars and I think that's a really really nice price for something like this and it feels like a very durable product which is something I love about this bag uh, so I mean overall if I had to give this bag something uh, on a rating system, I definitely have to give it a 10 out of 10. One for functionality, uh, you know, in your training, that's, that's the biggest thing for any tool or equipment that I have to review or look into for my athletes is, can you use it for a prolonged period of time? Will you get benefits out of it? 100%, this is one of the best tools that I've used. It, I definitely think it's something that's great for home use. Uh, would I put it in my gym? Yes would i think a lot of people would use it absolutely uh but i just think for home use this is definitely uh one of the better tools that i've ever used i think the price is very fair for what it is compared to everything else on the market and then looking into it it's actually not you know a cheaply made piece of equipment i mean you got galvanized pipe a really strong sturdy uh coil and spring here um you know the bags itself probably cost you a good amount and just think you're getting three bags to replace this uh with um well, two extra bags but it comes with three bags in the packaging comes with instructions on how to put it together and trust me you don't need instructions how to put it together it's actually really really easy i am horrible with putting stuff together and i was able to do it uh so that's something that i really like about this it's easy to put together all you got to do is fill the base with water or sand uh you don't really need to fill it up all that heavy uh and it comes with suction cups on the bottom the only thing i would say is outside on concrete definitely fill the base up a lot more if it's sticking to something like tile or plastic it's not coming off the floor trust me it took me a good like two minutes to yank this thing off the floor uh in in the basement um of the house that i'm staying in right now so uh that's definitely something uh to look into um overall i really like this bag and i want to thank valley sports for sending it to me i know i'm going to be using it for a long time uh, i'm going to have to bring it into the gym one of these days because it's going to start getting cold here in central new york so uh without further ado guys thanks for watching the combat corporation your source for combat sports Link in the description below where you can get this piece of equipment. I think it's really great. Valley Sports is one of the better companies out there right now, uh, especially for if you want any type of equipment. Like I said earlier, uh, I'm using their uh, hybrid MMA gloves today, and they fit and feel really well. And I can't wait to do a review on these sometimes in the near future as well. But overall, guys, I think this is a really great tool. And uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, especially comment, because I love to see what your guys' feedback is and what you want me to review next. That's something I'm always looking forward to, is your recommendations here on the channel. And uh, I really encourage, if you want to try a Cobra Reflex bag, i definitely go for Valley Sports. They did an outstanding job. All right, guys, with that said, thanks for watching your source of combat sports, the Combat Corporation. I'm Al, the Postmaster tomorrow, and I'll see you on the next video.